Oh, welcome to Benelo in Hope. Today we'll be looking at how we can recover our damaged or corrupted Photoshop PSD file. So follow me in this tutorial as I show you the simplest way or method of recovering your corrupted PSD or Photoshop file. Now as you can see this file here is a corrupted file. So let's open it and check the response it will give to us. So you double click on the file to open. So after opening the file, you can see the response I'm getting. This file contains one or more layers which appear to be corrupt. Continue reading layers. Now, either ways, whether you press OK, it will show you could not open the name of the file which in this case is valentine order corrupted psd because an unexpected end of file was encountered now if we should go back to our file and attempt to open it one more time so we can choose the second option and see if it's going to work out so you can see this file contains one or more layers which appear to be corrupt continue reading layers now if you could remember the first time we choose our ok and still the file was not the photoshop was not able to read the file now let's look at flatten that's the second option you can see still the same thing which says could not open valentine order corrupted psd because an unexpected end of file was encountered so now the best way or one of the easiest way to recover your corrupted psd file so you make sure you install your adobe illustrator i already have the adobe illustrator 2020 installed on my system so the next thing is instead of you double click on your psd file to open directly on photoshop this time, time around you right click on your psd file then you go to open with if you're on windows 11 or any other windows like on windows 11 you can go to show more options where you can now see open with in case it's not on the normal open with menu so you go with open with then you can see the other applications that can open up the file so this time around i want us to go with adobe illustrator so as you can see my adobe illustrator is opening so now you are going to see this option depending on the type of photoshop you are using for instance for me i'm using photoshop 2020 so now you can actually click your show review here to see what is happening so you can see convert layers to objects now this option makes it very possible for you to be able to edit text where it's possible flatten layers to a single image what is going to do is that it's going to convert your design to a flat to a single image in which you can you will not be able to edit or change anything obviously i'm going to discourage anyone from picking this option it's better you go with this option then as you can see here it's saying import hidden layers so make sure you select convert layers to object where as you can actually make uh, your text editable and also you choose import hidden layers then you go ahead and press your ok and wait for the illustrator to perform its magic So now, as you can see, this is our recovered design. So I'll press Ctrl 0 to enlarge it. Now, if you check the text, you find out that we can actually edit our text. As you can see, we can actually make changes to our text. So, but this is not what I want. So you can edit the text. Even this one here is editable, as you can see. Even this one here is editable, as you can see. These ones too are editable. These ones are editable. The only thing we lost here is actually our background. Because what we had was a background filled with heart. Heart more like a love symbol. But now, as you can see, what happened to the background is that the background became black. This writing here is white. So we can change the color from white to black for you to be able to see 
the right thing in full so at least we are able to recover all the text as well as the symbol as you can see the symbol for whatsapp and the symbol for contact and also the our shapes and our text which is a good one at least the background we can easily get another background or get that same background so now once you open it inside your illustrator the next thing you are going to do is you are going to go to your file under your file you go to export under export you go to export as now you check among the options let's see if we have an option to export it as psd yes we have an option there so you can see export as photoshop inside the bracket dot psd so you you select that option then we are going to rename it since we are able to fix or repair the file using our illustrator we we'll put valentine order repaired Would I use repaired or use fixed so i'm going to save it or export it so now they say it's not a valid name why because of this symbol i make use of so i'm going to simply make use of an underscore and i'm going to go ahead and save it so you can see i'll save it as rgb you can save it as cmyk if you are planning on printing it but i'm planning on making an edit so i'll save it as rgb i'll make sure i choose the highest now you can either go for right layers or flat image now flat image what it means is that it's going to save it as psd whereas you will not be able to edit anything inside it's going to turn into an image why right layers is such that anything that is editable on illustrator once you save it under these right layers you also be able to edit it on photoshop so i think i'll go with right layers this preserve text editability is for you to be able to be able to edit the text on the flyer why this maximum editability it has to do with maybe all these shapes and these symbols so i, I think i'm going to choose that for your anti-aliasing you don't need to choose or pick anyone is okay at none then you can go ahead and press okay and wait for it to finish exporting now it has is done exporting as your psd file so let's go to our file manager and check so i'll minimize my illustrator now you can see we have our valentine order repaired or fixed now let's make attempt to open it with our photoshop and see if it's going to open so i've double clicked on it to open it on photoshop so you can see let me use ctrl zero to zoom in okay so you can see from here our text is something we can actually edit and make changes to it as you can see here i'm making changes to my color and if i like i can also edit it from here i edit it let's say let, let me take this one back to white yes so i can even edit it change my font that's from here i can actually change the fonts let's see so let's see this archivo font or instead okay so you can see i was even able to change the font so the only downside to this recovery option is that you will lose your background yeah your background and possibly some of your images but for your shapes and your write-ups none of those ones will be lost as you can see all my shapes and write-ups are still intact so that's one advantage of recovering from this the only downside is that you might likely lose your images but all your shapes your write-ups will still be intact with their colors and even their properties as fonts and the rest so thank you for watching Please don't forget to like our channel, don't forget to like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, also share with your friends and family. See you next time. Thank you.